I have this 1995 Jeep that I bought and uh, it doesn't have any kind of uh, audio system. So I just want to put some speakers in it with a little uh, Bluetooth device so I can um, hook up my phone and uh, MP3s to it. Yeah, so it doesn't, uh, doesn't have anything in there and I don't really want to take uh, the whole dash apart to uh, put one in there and uh, put speakers in the uh, side there too. So these are the kind of speakers I got. Um, they're pile ones. They're marine grade speakers, so they should be waterproof and a good pick for maybe the Jeep. Um, anyways, they're 100 watts and, uh, you know, 50, 50 a piece. And um, we'll see how they sound. I'm not sure about the, you know, waterproof speaker, but we'll see. And this is a little chip I got from, uh, again, on eBay. It was like $15 for this, so, I mean, man, that's pretty cheap, and it comes with this little remote control, so, you know, hopefully this will connect up to it, you know, so you don't really, you can just hide this way in a little box if you wanted to, um, but anyways, I'm interested to see if it's going to work out. Hey, so I'm out in my barn. I found some scrap wood I had sitting around, so... I'm going to try to build like a little speaker box out of uh, this stuff. So this piece I'm using is uh, not very straight and this edge isn't very well cut. So I'm going to, I'm going to cut everything to uh, about six and a quarter inches. So here's kind of a side view of what I came up with here. Um, these uh, end pieces here are 13 inches um, and I made them six and a quarter uh, wide um, so I just cut a, a couple of those so there's two exact same pieces front and back um, I also cut another couple and I just ripped them in half at three inches so um, we got a couple other pieces here for three inches. The bottom piece I made, a, I cut a piece a little bit smaller um, out of three quarter inch so I could screw this in and I want to be able to remove the bottom later. So anyways, here's how it kind of fits together. So I took my front piece here and uh, I took this off the back of the speaker, a uh, little gasket thing. And so I lined it up here, I marked over a half inch, and I just kind of eyeballed it, drew, drew the inside there, and moved it over, and did the same thing. So now I just got to cut out those little holes in it. I'm going to start by drilling a couple holes. Now this doesn't have to be real pretty and the cuts don't have to be pretty because the speakers are going to go over top of this and cover it up anyway, so it, it won't matter. So to cut these out, I'm going to use my uh, scroll saw here and just be easier. Um, if you don't have one of those, you can always use one of these uh, jigsaws, uh, saber saws. It works uh, right just as well. Um, it's be kind of hard to hold on to though, so I'm going to use my other saw. Okay, so I've got my holes cut here, and uh, I'll try it out to make sure they actually fit in here. Uh, looks pretty good. A little room. Okay, they fit, so now it's time to... I'm going to just glue these and uh, kind of uh, nail them together with a brad gun. So I'm going to start putting it together. Um, I'm going to just screw this piece, uh, the bottom piece down because I want to be able to take this out later. Um, and so I'm going to screw this on and then glue 
and nail on all the rest of the pieces. These are just some little uh, yeah, one inch drywall screws I found. So there we go, we got this uh, screwed on the bottom now. I'm just gonna nail on the rest of the pieces with some glue. Okay, so I've got a 18 inch uh, nail brad uh, gun here and little tiny uh, like three quarter inch nails. So I don't want them too big, but I want them to go through uh, this mount. But anyways, we'll see how it goes. I don't have any real wood glue, so I'm just using uh, uh, some Elmer's glue I found around. So if you don't have a nail gun, um, you need one. Now I'll just let it dry for a while. So I'm going to paint this thing black, uh, spray paint it, but first I'm going to just put some brush on, uh, thicker uh, paint, just to kind of fill in some of these holes and make it look a little smoother. Now I'm just going to put on a couple uh, layers of black spray paint. Hey, so I just came back after uh, picking up my daughter, and uh, it is Oregon, and it rained really nice on my on my paint job, but hopefully it'll, it'll still be all right. Good old Oregon. So I got the painting done, but I kind of thought it's, it's awful shiny and stuff, so um, I think I'm going to repaint it with some, this is uh, what I used on the floor of my Jeep, and since it's going to be in my Jeep, I thought I'd just paint it the same. Um, it's it's all right, but I think it looked a little better, not so shiny. So it turned out pretty good. I like the uh, the look of it better than the shiny black paint, but we'll go with it. So I have these really strong rare earth magnets here, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna drill a hole in the uh, the bottom of these to uh, to glue these in. So I'm gonna drill a hole. I'm gonna rough these up um, so the glue sticks to them better, and then I'm just gonna hot glue them in the hole. And uh, hopefully that'll uh, work for holding this in place in the uh, Jeep. And then these are just temporary. Uh, just so I can push it up and down and pull out on this piece um, and I'm going to mount this uh, right about like it is there Okay, so I tried to get the magnets in. This one actually sticks out a little too far, but I don't think I'm going to get it out of there. So uh, hopefully it'll, it'll still sit fine, you know, uh, I guess as long as it's on metal. Uh, yeah, it'll probably work out.
So I got this thing all together. I mean, I tried it out already. It works really good. Um, the only thing is this, this came with this remote control right here. And uh, I don't know if it's just like the thickness of this plywood. I think it's like 3 8 inch or something. But uh, it doesn't work through this wood. And I don't know, maybe it's all these magnets I have on here too. But uh, anyways, I took the bottom out and uh, tried it out and it worked fine. But uh, once I put it back in here, this kind of blocks the signal. Um, but anyways, it, it sounded too low on the uh, when I was playing it in my, my uh, car. So what I did was... Uh, I took off the bottom and I turned the volume all the way up on the card or using this and then uh, put it back in so now it's always at full volume on this card and uh, I don't really need this anyways I thought it would just be like an extra you know kind of cool thing um, I can just use my phone to, to switch songs and that but uh, let's go try it out here it is in the Jeep um and then it's just hooked to the uh, cigarette lighter. So now I just uh, take out my phone, I hit Bluetooth and I see my uh, audio device there. Heard it connect. And now you can just play your favorite songs. We'll see how loud it goes. Maybe you can tell. It, it gets pretty loud. Anyways, it sounds pretty good. I like it. It's uh, waterproof. It sounds good. It's loud. Um, and anyways, I've got tunes in my Jeep now. Thanks for watching.